Hi, and welcome back to Jim Snedeker Music. This week, we want to talk about three ways to love your audience without stage fright. You know, in our culture, it's well known and research shows that about 75% of people struggle with a fear of public speaking to a certain degree. So while this is not therapy, we do have three ways that you can begin to change that and actually turn your fear into courage and love. Number one way that I've researched and found as a result of doing this article, this blog post this week and video is to be prepared. Being prepared is the number one way to love your audience without stage fright. Just do a little research on how to overcome stage fright and you will quickly realize that's true. And you know that it's true in other areas of your life that just by repeating something often enough, you can become an expert. You can exchange fear for confidence because often getting in front of people, that is something different. It's something that our culture has feared. Maybe we've learned to fear it. We've only seen people who are afraid when they have to do things like that, but we can retrain ourselves. And the number one way is to be prepared. Next, this is a mental exercise. We want to imagine performing well, use our minds, actually play it out ahead of time. How often does thinking about something outside your comfort zone make you nervous or excited? Two different emotions. The difference often comes down to what we allow ourselves to think about. If you think I'm going to go out there, I'm going to do a great job. I'm going to remember the words. I'm going to sing in tune or whatever your thing is. I'm going to do it right. If you're telling the, yourself those kind of thoughts, that's going to make a big difference. Here's an exercise you can do at any time. Just close your eyes and picture yourself picking up your instrument. If you play one, you're taking a slow, a deep breath. You're calm. And you start to actually smile at your audience as you play. This is something that you can do that begins to calm yourself, begins to put your whole psyche, your whole emotional state in a different place so that you can overcome fear and move toward love, move toward confidence and courage. The other thing, the last thing, our third way, that you can overcome fear and you can really learn to love performing and love your audience is to do it as often as you can play as often as you can. So this is a great quote by Taylor Swift, and it really does sum up the heart of this video today that the best way, the only way to really conquer stage fright is to get up on stage and play. And then she says, well, why is that really? She answers the question. Every time you play, it gets better and better. Every time we play, we learn things. Some we don't want to repeat, but some we do. And though that's the gold we can learn from doing it over and over and over again. And remember this, progress is better than perfection. We want to take what we have done, find the good things and repeat those and keep progressing. That's how progress works. So again, we want to take every opportunity. We want to do it again and again. And repetition is a good thing. So to close this thought out, our number three idea, we want to take every opportunity to keep improving our craft. So today we've looked at three ways to love your audience without stage fright. Thanks for joining me. If this video is helpful, I hope you'll subscribe, leave me a comment, a thumbs up. Love to know what you think. And again, hope to see you next time. Thanks.